the topic for this video is booth algorithm for multiplication which is the second way of multiplying two numbers where the sign bit is inculcated in the number itself in booth algorithm basically if you have to multiply two numbers if the numbers are given in binary digit simply the booth algorithm is to be applied but if the number is given in decimal decimal terms you need to find the two's complement of the negative number if both the numbers are negative you need to find the two's complement for both the numbers and if one of them is negative you need to find the two's complement for that particular number and then carry on with the booth algorithm because this again handles the sign bit in this process itself now let's begin with the flowchart for this booth algorithm if you have already gone through the previous video the two numbers we multiplied there were b and q but here the numbers are represented by br and qr because here b and q are also having their sign bits along therefore to give a different representation we are using the term br and qr which represent that both these numbers are having their sign bits here with them ac is used here instead of a in the previous video which is initially 0 then qn plus 1 is also a bit which is again 0 and sequence counter is taken to be equal to be to the number of bits in the multiplier or multiplicand okay one thing to be noted is that the number of bits in the qr or uh, br should be basically the larger number of bits for example if we have two numbers b and qr and the number of bits in qr are more as compared to br the total number of bits in both these numbers need to be equal to the number of bits in the larger number and the other one can be made equal to that particular number of bits using padding okay now proceeding with the flowchart here we have to check the last bit of qr that is qn and qn plus one together if it is zero one addition is performed between the ac and br if it is one zero subtraction is performed but if it is 0, 0 or 1, 1, arithmetic shift right operation is to be performed. After these two also arithmetic shift right has to be done for AC and QR. Just make a note of it. In the previous video where the sign bits were handled separately, a normal shift operation, shift right operation was performed. Here it's arithmetic shift right. So there is a difference between the two. Again, the sequence counter is decremented by 1 and as soon as you reach the value 0, you have to stop the uh, procedure. Basically, again, the number of steps need to be equal to the number of bits in the multiplier. So let's begin with an example. We have two numbers, BR, which is 10111, QR, 10011. They need to be multiplied. Now, because we need the complement of BR, we've already found here the complement and the two's complement and kept them ready for the computations. Now initially AC is 0, QR has this value and QN plus 1 is also 0. Now checking QN and QN plus 1, it is 1 0. That means this. So AC has to be added to the two's complement of BR which is 0 1 double 0 1. We will add this to AC. 0 1 double 0 1 and we will get the result as 0 1 double 0 1 writing qr again now because we have already done this we need to perform the arithmetic shift right let's see how it is done the first bit is written same it is copied to the second position and then 1 0 0 this one will go here 1 0 0 1 and this last one will go here just to keep in mind the first bit is copied to both first and the second position and then the normal shifting is done now you get after this because it was 5 
After this, first step is completed and sequence counter's value is decremented by 1. Now checking again the value of Qn and Qn plus 1. It is, it is double 1. That means a simple arithmetic shift right has to be done. And then this is 0, again 0. Rest is shifted. 0, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0, 0 and 1. After this, another step is completed and it is decremented. So, now the value of Qn and Q plus, Qn plus 1 is 0, 1. That means addition has to be done. The value of Br is to be added to AC. That means triple zero one zero has to be added to 1, 0, triple 1. And you will get the result as 0, 1, 1. And will be 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Now doing the arithmetic shift right. 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. And this 0 will be coming here. You will get triple 1, double 0, 1, 0, double 1, 0 and 0. After this, another step is completed. Now, again checking the value, double 0. That means a simple arithmetic shift right has to be done. 1, 1 now the number of steps this was your first second third fourth step completed that means a last step has to be performed now checking the value that is a 1 0 that means this adding the value of 2's complement of br to this value 0 1 0, 0, 1. You will get the value 0, 0, triple 1. 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. And now performing a shift right, you will get 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and a 1 here. Now this is your fifth step and as I told you the number of steps need to be equal to the number of bits in QR. So this is your final answer which includes your sign bit right and the final value of qn plus 1 that is 1 is the original sign bit of the multiplier and so it is not considered as a part of the product this is your final answer that you are getting here so this was the boots algorithm for multiplication thank you